Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with the Historical Immersion Project mod as Amalfi, the wee tiny little Merchant Republic down here. Um, when we left off last time we were in a war, a tiny war, to seize the trade, po trade post here in Santa Fiora from one of our rival families and we're just about to attack his army here, hopefully before he sieges the trade post back. We just about made it. Hopefully our slightly superior numbers will tell there. Um, yeah, he can be my new marshal, that's fine. Yep, and indeed we won. He's headed to Siena. Where there is a river crossing, so let's not follow him there. Do we have a river crossing to Orvieto? Yes. He's headed to Viterbo, where there is no river crossing. And this is plains. So if we, if we can attack him there, that would be good. You arrive on the 19th. Okay, we are going to arrive on the 30th. And he's going to escape. That's fine, we'll just stay here. We got a good chunk of war score from that battle, and we're getting ticking war score from controlling the trade post. So I don't think he could really do anything to win this war. Hey, you stole technology from Constantinople. Congratulations. Seems we're mostly getting economic technology, which is great. Uh, we need 153 to get the next level of trade practices. So we're not too far off of that, which is good. Oh, he's attempting to siege my trade post. Without enough men. Not a great plan. The even greater ball. As a way to get back at the vile Musco family, you could make arrangements to host your own grand ball. Invitations will be sent out to all patrician families, with the exception of the Musco, of course. If this is to work, your ball will have to be much grander than the one that that weasel patrician, Ser patrician Sergio threw together. It won't be cheap, but it would restore your prestige and bring shame to those Musco dogs. Absolutely. Make it happen. Spare no expense. The day of the ball. The day of your grand ball has arrived, and everyone of importance in Amalfi is in your palace. Everyone but the Musco family. Your guards have strict orders not to permit anyone from their bloodline inside. In one corner of the ballroom, a bearded gentleman who looks vaguely familiar is loudly and unfavorably comparing your ball with the Musco one. As you approach him to set him straight, you recognize something in his voice. Could it be possible? You rush forward and rip the thick beard from the man's face to reveal Patrician Sergio! You! Astonished, Sergio pushes you aside and makes a mad dash for the exit like a frightened rabbit, while shoving several dancing guests to the floor. Ha! Let him run. So we gain back the prestige we lost at the other ball incident and then some, and he loses prestige. Excellent. Those Muscos. What a bunch of jerks. My son needs educating. Uh, sure. You can do it. Up to 57% with this guy. But he won't accept peace yet, apparently. Though it's only a matter of time. He's ticking up fairly quickly. Up to 60%. Um, an important part of ruling a realm is learning how to delegate. This is something you have finally realized, and your stewardship has improved as a direct consequence. Good. Things run more smoothly now. We're up to six stewardship. Which is nice. Come on. You can't win this war. Can't you see the writing on the wall? It's totally all over. 
your untouched armies and holdings. Um, where are, are the river crossings here? Aversa, Benevento, and Capua. So not from Amalfi. Unfortunately, we've been sitting here suffering attrition, which is probably a bad idea. Though, we don't want him to take back his trade post. If we still had, uh, if we still had a sizable advantage in terms of numbers, I would go and attack him via Amalfi so as not to take a crossing, but I think now our best bet is to just wait until the Ticking War Square takes us there. Okay, a caravan from distant lands has arrived. Okay, we'll let them in. And the fat merchant sits by the fire and regale, regales me and the rest of the court with stories of his travels in the mythical realm of Hindustan. And as they move on, he gives me a merchant, not a merchant, a eunuch as a gift. Sure, I'll take him. Not a great eunuch. I've seen better. My wife is pregnant. Good. She has the ambition to have a daughter. 72% now? No? This is only going to end one way, dude. Oh, where's he off to? Oh, he's trying to attack me. Eh, probably not a bad plan on his part, I guess. It is as if I see Alice for the first time, her good-natured spirit, the interesting and funny quirks she has, and how lovely she really is. Could it be that I love my Alice? Sure. Sounds good. So he's heading straight in from Viterbo, which has no river crossing. Hmm. I'm not a fan of this. Do we have a character with any good combat traits? No. Can't just disband them here because I'll lose half of them. Though disbanding and then re-raising would actually give me more troops. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll disband them here rather than suffer a defeat in battle and re-raise 172. Get my son in charge and march them up here to hopefully catch him before he sieges back the trade post, though that doesn't seem likely. We'll at least get a battle. We might actually get it. And in fact, he's just surrendering. Alright. Just as he was about to siege back the trade post and erase 33 points of ticking war score. Not a tactically sound decision, really, but I will accept. Okay, so now we are the proud owners of two trade posts. Not as good as these trade posts, wow. I wish we'd inherited this one, that would have been much better. We can try and take it from them, of course. Though our levy will need time to recover. Or of course we get to hire mercenaries. Daughter was born. A hunchback daughter. My chaplain is doing nothing? No, my marshal, my protostrator. Um, all right, because I changed him, didn't I? Well, absolutely tra train troops there. We need it. Max levy of 454. And the Muscos have currently 475. Mm. And a total levy, or a max levy of 541. So they are stronger than us. My son lacks a guardian. 
Sure. His brother can can guardian him. That's fine. Uh, okay, I've become ill. That is unfortunate. I'm much too young to die. Punchback doesn't convey a health penalty, does it? No. It should be okay. Yeah, there we go. We're totally fine. Uh, one of my family's ships has just grounded itself a few miles away from the city. We have enough time to save some of our wares and goods. But I'm afraid we won't be able to save everything. Okay, so we lose a small amount of gold. Not a big deal. Could be worse. And what is your strength like, Duke of Naples? A thousand, right. It looks like if you want to go and siege, seize the city from him, uh, we would have to probably hire some mercenaries. A wealthy local noble is looking to escape the consequences of several indiscretions on his part against a female member of the Rufo family. He's offered to pay pa handsomely for passage. I would love to gain 100 gold. Excellent. Okay. Somebody has become a Catholic. Uh, let's see. What kind of mercenaries can we hire? Uh, we could get a thousand for a hundred gold that we could keep for quite a while. Exclusively pikemen. A thousand heavy infantry would probably be better. Hmm. We could do this now. He has no allies. And we would have 1300 troops to his 1000. Yeah, okay. Um, I think we'll do it. I go ahead and hire the mercenaries ahead of time so that they have time to uh, recover their morale before we go in. Is there a river crossing? There isn't, so we can just go straight in when he raises his troops. Uh, okay, so let's get the heavy infantry one. And I'm pretty sure we can still declare war with mercenaries hired. Yeah. And this gives us a Seas Coast cooldown for five years. Okay, so we can only do this once every five years. That is fine. Okay, let's uh, not do it right now. We'll wait for the mercenaries to get their morale back. The crickets are chirping and singing quite loudly tonight, more so than usual. This is a rather odd occurrence. Maybe it's a bad omen, like another comet, or perhaps it is a good one. Their music is beautiful. This is a good thing. Indeed it is. Obviously losing a fair amount of gold at this point for the mercenaries, but that's fine. Okay, we'll declare the war, then raise our own troops. Uh, we cannot appoint people. So he has 750 at half morale. We'll go in with no river crossing. Oh, and he reinforced, which is bad, but he has his men only in one flank. So it's not going to go well for him. Fighting across this field, you see an enemy soldier cut off from the others. While you can't tell who, it's clear they must be a highborn noble. It is the Dew of Naples himself. You realize the enemy soldier is Sergius II of Naples. Uh, we can have a 25% chance of Craven, or we can kind of just prepare to die. Yeah, okay. One mistake is all he'll get. Uh-oh, he launches a furious frenzied attack. I roll to dodge just in time, taking no more than a flesh wound. You force yourself back to your feet and hold your weapon ready. And um, he's not a great martial character. He has nine martial but no uh, skilled fighter trait. Uh, we don't have any such trait either, though. Hmm. Okay, you won't get another chance. One mistake is all he'll get. 
You see a weak spot? It's not much, but it's all you need. Force your way through, easily overpowering his pathetic defense. You strike for his heart with all your might. And he's slain. Excellent. He is dead. Victory is mine. And his troops get minus 20% morale. Hardly seems necessary. We were pretty handily winning anyway. Uh, let's follow them. Maybe we got this up to 100 without having to siege anything. Now where are they headed? And we're at 100. Worst demands, I gain the Polis of Neapolis. Great. So now we hold an actual city. Which is really nice for us. No income yet. We uh, will presumably have the recently conquered or new administration modifier for a while. Uh, 888, so 10 years or so. It doesn't um, completely remove the tax and levy, but it reduces it. Let's get back here and lower our troops, and I guess I dismiss the mercenaries too. Alright. That seems fine, I suppose. And that was a successful war. And something is building. Uh, City Guildhall 2, good. That's nice. Uh, already has a large center of trade here. What is this? Uh, okay, it gives us a lot of um, nice bonuses, apparently. That is good to know. And the Guildhall will increase the tax income, technology spread rate. Excellent. All of that seems very nice. So now we have the uh, the CV on the new duke to seize the entire county, but uh, obviously we have a truce, so we don't want to do that just yet. A convoy of several merchant galleys belonging to your family has been ambushed by pirates. So this is another random loss of gold. Fair enough. Um, we are yeah, pretty far ahead of the other candidates, so we should have very little problems becoming the next doge. Mm, I wonder if we should make the most of the time before that by attacking one of the other patricians, like the Musco, to seize the Salerno trade post really should have just um, kept uh, those mercenaries and used them for that. We aren't getting any levy from the city yet, so that's not actually going to help us in terms of military strength, at least for a while. Fate smiles upon me. My wife Alice is pregnant again. That's nice. Night falls and you are quickly asleep as you rest in your bed. In your dreams you see a great light, an impenetrable heavenly light. You know not what it is, or even what it represents, but something about it brings you peace and happiness. Is God communicating with me? Perhaps he is. Perhaps he is. Probably not, though. Has to be said. Um... Some kind of, uh... Religious conquest of Sicilia. What is going on here? Defending against Sultan Ibrahim of the Aglab Sultanate in the religious conquest, reconquest of Sicilia. Oh dear. Is he trying to take um, probably some of the Christian land over here? Is this for the Duchy of Sicilia, in which case it would be for this land? Probably. Well, let's hope they do not get any land. Of 
quite a number of troops. Yeah, I assume it's for this county. They're, uh, they're sieging that one. And we have our city guild hall built, which is nice. But uh, that will do it for this episode. Join me next time. Maybe we'll find out what's going on with this war with the Muslims, or maybe we'll become Doge. Anyway, thanks for watching.